السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویکم تو مائی ڈیلی عربک وکابلاریس آئی ام مدارس سلیمان علی ہیپی لسننگ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لین فرام دس لیسن ہاؤ ٹو چینج دی عربک وب لا یبیا ٹو سوٹ سم سرٹن پروناؤنس ان عربک نہیون پروہیبیشن Nahayun prohibition. We are going to learn from this lesson how to instruct others in Arabic not to do something using different forms of verbs. The question is how do we change the verb la yebian to suit the pronouns below. The verb la yebian simply means he should not sell. He should not sell. He in Arabic is huwa, which is the opposite of here, she. So how do we now change the verb la yebian to suit the following pronouns? Wahid, number one. Ana, I. So how do we change the verb la yebian to suit Ana? All you need to do is to detach yaun and attach hamza. The verb la yebian will now become la abi which means i should not sell if then number two nahnu we so how do we change the verb la yebir to suit nahnu all you need to do is to detach yaun and attach nunun so the verb la yebir will now become la nabi which means we should not sell thalatha number three anta you representing a single male person so how do we change the verb la yebir to suit anta all you need to do is to detach yaun and attach taun the verb la yebir will now become la tebir which means don't sell arba and number four anti you representing a single female person so how do we now change the verb la yebir to suit anti all you need to do is to detach yaun and attach taun not only that then you attach yaun to the last letter so the verb la yebi will now become la tabi'in la tabi'in so you may ask me the yaun after i the yaun before the ain where has it come from so the yaun was our lost yaun so the yaun was originally part of the verb the reason why it was lost was because the ainun was taken sokon. The ainun in la yebir was taken sokon. You know, in Arabic, two letters carrying sokon will never meet at the same time. That was why it was lost. Now that ainun is taking kasara, we can now retain our ya. So that is why we are now having la tabi'i. La tabi'i, don't sell. You can only use this to talk to a single female person. Khamsa, number five. He or she. So how do we change the verb la yebin to suit here? All you need to do is to detach yaun and attach taun. The verb la yebin will now become la tebi, which means she should not sell. Remember, we use taun to talk about a single female person and yaun to talk about a single male person. Talking about them does not mean talking to them directly. Allah kafahim. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Udurus learn. Walahis and observe at the same time. Udurus study. Walahis and observe at the same time. Mufradun singular. Muthanna dual. Jamu plural. Mufrad singular. This is a word in Arabic that means only one. Muthanna dual. This is a word in Arabic that means only two. Jamu, plural. This is a word in Arabic that means more than two. Remember, plurality in Arabic is start from three upward. Unlike English, where it start from two upward. La Allah kafahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Now we talk about mudhakar. Mudhakarun masculine. This is a word in Arabic that represents a male person or a male object. Just like the verb la tabir can only be used to talk to a single male person, not to sell. If they are two, all you need to do is to attach aliphon to the verb la tabir. 
Remember, once aliphone is attached to the last letter, the letter before it must take fatha, as we know that aliphone is the mother of fatha in Arabic. I repeat. So if you are talking to two male persons, you attach aliphone to the last letter of the verb la tebi. Once aliphone is attached, the letter before it must take fatha. As we know that Alifun is the mother of Fatha in Arabic. So the verb La Tebi will now become La Tebi A. La Tebi A don't sell. Talking to two male persons. Remember, now that the Ainun is taking Fatha, we can now retain our lost Yaun, which is written here before the Ain. La Tebi A. So if you are talking to more than two persons, so we attach Wawun to the last letter. Of the verb la tebi. Once wawun is attached, the letter before it must take dhamma. As we know that wawun is the mother of dhamma in Arabic. So the verb la tebi will now become la tebi u don't sell. A talking to a group of male persons. Now that Ainun is taking dhamma, we can now retain our lost yawn. La alaka fahimt? I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Now we talk about mu'annath. Mu'annathun feminine. Being the word in Arabic that represents a female person or a female object, just like the verb la te bi can only be used to talk to a single female person, not to sell. So if they are two, use the same form of the verb la te bi a, la te bi a. That means don't sell. A talking to two female persons. The verb is applicable to both two female persons and two male persons. So if you are talking to a group of female persons, so go and re go and replace the year one in late being with noon carrying fataha. So then you give sukun to the letter before it. You give sukun to the letter before it. Once you give sukun to the ayun, the year one is taking sukun already. Remember, two letters carrying sukun we never meet in Arabic language. What do we do? We cancel that year one to avoid meeting of two letters carrying sukun at the same time. Because the ayinun is now taking sukun. So the verb la tebi'in will now become la tebi'ina. La tebi'ina. Don't sell. Allah fahimt? I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Al istimal. Now the usage. Al istimal. Now the usage. Wahid number one. La yabir zaydun kitabahu li hashim. La yabir zaydun kitabahu li hashim. La yabir zaydun. Zaid should not sell kitabahu his book li Hashim for Hashim. Ithnan number two. La tabi zainabu baydoha fil bait. La tabi zainabu baydoha fil bait. La tabi zainab. Zainab should not sell baydoha ha egg fil bait at home. Remember, fi is an agent of kasra. It must give kasra. To the last letter of any word in Arabic appearing after it, as we have it in filbeiti, t, not ta and not tu, rather t. Thalatha number three. La tabi sayyarotaka ya ahi. La tabi sayyarotaka ya ahi. La tabi don't sell sayyarotaka yoka ya ahi, my brother. Arba number four. La tabi in beitaki ya okti. La te bi in beitaki ya okti. La te bi in beitaki. Don't sell your house. Ya okti, my sister. Khamsa number five. La te bi a bakorotakuma. La te bi a bakorotakuma. La te bi a bakorotakuma. Don't sell your cow. A talking to Hashim and Khalid. Sita number six. La te bi u ardakum ya ikhwa. لا تبيعوا أرضكم يا إخوة لا تبيعوا أرضكم Don't sell your land يا إخوة Brothers لا الله كفهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله سبعة نمبر سبعون لا تبيعنا مزارع كنا يا أخوات لا تبيعنا مزارع كنا يا أخوات لا تبيعنا Don't sell مزارع كنا your farms يا أخوات sisters لا الله كفهمت I hope you understand now we talk about the comparison between Fi'ilun Madin, past tense, and Fi'ilun Madariu, present tense in Arabic. Wahid number one, who are he? Liyebi, he should sell. La Yebi, he should not sell. Ithnan, number two, he or she. Litebi, 
she should sell. La tebi, she should not sell. Thalatha number three. Anna, I. Le abi, I should sell. La abi, I shouldn't sell. Arba and number four. Nahanu, we. Le nabi, we should sell. La nabi, we should not sell. Hamsa number five. Anta, you. Be, sell. La tebi, don't sell. Sita number six. Anti, you. Representing a single female person. B A B A B A sell. Let a B A don't sell. Sabua number seven. Antum all of you. Referring to a group of male persons. B U you should all sell. Let a B U don't sell. Thamania number eight. Antunna all of you. A talking to a group of female persons. Beina, you should all sell. La tebina, don't sell. La alaka fahimt. I hope you understand. Ma sha Allah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astigfiruka wa atubu ilik. Do not forget to go to the classroom. Take your lesson. Watching a single video clip and revise it using the PDF file below it. Ma as-salama wa ila liqa'in akhar.